What is going on, everybody, and welcome to the From Morning to Action podcast. I am your host, Dr. Damon Silas, and I am doing things a little bit differently today. Today is January 15th, for those of you who may be listening at a later date. Um, Now, normally what I like to do is a couple things. A, I normally like to have somebody on the show that I can interview, and rest assured that that will happen in the future Um, It didn't happen today, and I'm going to talk a little bit about why. Um, The second thing is I'm actually recording this, and I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel, uh, which is Doc D. Silas. So, um, uh, and and that's the, the plan, so I hope that comes to fruition. As you all know, as a psychologist, sometimes I'm not the best person when it comes to technology, but we'll give it a try. So... That being said, uh, again, welcome to the podcast today. This is going to be a solo one, so it might be a little bit shorter than it normally is. Gosh, normally they've been 45, 50, or even more minutes, and um, I actually got a new plan, so y'all, it cannot be any longer than 45 minutes. So if you've been thinking 50 minutes is long, you're good, because now you know that it can't go past 45 minutes. So you are welcome. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, no, um, but that being said, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about actually one of the letters of the action plan. So as you all know, uh, this podcast is based on my two books, uh, From Morning to Night and um, uh, What's Your Action Plan, Working Through, Powerfully Working Through Loss. Well, I don't even know the name of my own books. Um But, yeah, so it's based on those, and I actually say this in the end anyway, so you'll get all this in the very end. Uh, But the point is, one of the letters is all about openness and vulnerability, and that's the O. And so in an effort to be fully transparent with you all, I wanted to talk to you about um, just kind of falling off, right? Sometimes we fall off and sometimes we get off track. And most of you tune in because you've gone through some sort of loss. You may know somebody who has gone through loss and you want to know how to work through those things. And I am here to tell you that even I am susceptible um, to falling off, you know, to getting off track, to having all these lofty goals and ideals and things that I want to do. And life just happens. And that's kind of what led to today's podcast, which is life happened. And then all of a sudden, it was Monday. And then today, it was Tuesday. And then it was, oh, shoot, I don't have anybody to interview. And the podcast comes out on Thursday. And guess what? My Wednesday schedule is pretty full. So I said, well, you know what? I want to share my experience with you all because it's really about you know, relating to each other in a way that sometimes I know if you hear me, if you're listening to me, it may seem like I have everything together. And contrary to popular belief, I don't. Uh, (laughs) So I know uh, I started off the year, I had a couple of people that I interviewed. And then I was like, just in the groove. I was I was uh, not to get Madonna in your head, but I was definitely in the groove of planning out some different Um, events that just passed. I had a workshop, a wellness workshop that I hosted with three other people this past Saturday. And so I was really hyper-focused on that, um, as well as a different class that I'm um, part of that's local here in the Lake Norman, Charlotte area. And so as I was focusing on those things and, you know, seeing my clients on a daily basis, I kind of lost track of scheduling, you know, getting people on my schedule so that we can do this. Don't worry. I, I'm back on track, y'all. I already got a couple of people lined up and some uh, some even more people that I, I know that I want to have. So, um, And that being said, if you ever want to be on the show, would love to have you, would love to talk to you about your loss. So today I want to talk a little bit about loss of focus, loss of clarity, loss of motivation, and even loss of energy. And I think today is the perfect time. Now is the perfect time. By the time this comes out, it will be the 17th. And it's the middle of January. So most of you will have already made some New Year's resolutions. And my question to you is, how is it going? Are you, are you sticking with it strong? Are you going strong and like, you know, all in? 
Or have you noticed you started to kind of waver? You know, and if you have noticed that you started to waver, I'm here to tell you it is okay. It's okay to waver. It's okay to question. It's okay to not have all the energy and the gung-ho that you may have had on January 1st or even December 28th or 29th. Right? That's just a natural, normal human thing is that we lose steam. We lose focus. We lose clarity. We lose motivation. We lose energy. And that's okay. You know, so this is really about how we get back on track once we lose all of those things. So, in keeping with the theme of loss, right? Like some people at this point, at exactly this point in this month of January of every year may have started off strong. Maybe the first two weeks went really well. Maybe the first week went really well. And then you feel yourself faltering. And these are the exact moments when we take action, right? When it's hardest is when it's most important to take that action. So for instance, like I said, when I noticed that I was out of integrity for with my action and with scheduling somebody for this, um, I immediately started to reach out to people. Sometimes those things come really serendipitously, which is how my next guest, um, you know, she kind of showed up for me, which is I was just scrolling through Facebook and happened to see this. You'll hear more about it in in, um, that podcast. But uh, sometimes they come, you know, very much through the power of the universe and God or whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, um, very naturally. Um, So it's part of it is about just being in your purpose and being in who you are and who you are for the world as a whole. And just by virtue of being, the doing comes naturally. I actually got that from Neil Donald Walsh recently. I love it. It's like, are you a human being? Are you a human doing? Um, When we are being, the doing comes naturally. When we're doing, 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 and constantly going and trying to force something, well, that's when you lose touch with being whoever it is you are here to be. Um, So that's a little side note. That being said, y'all, how did I get back into action? So A, the A is for affirmations and affirmations, if you all remember, and if you don't, Or if this is your first time tuning in, that's exactly what the A is for. So, you know, one of the things that I said to myself and one of the things you can say to yourself, especially in these moments, is I am clarity. I am focus. I am motivation. Or I have clarity, focus, and motivation. I have all the energy that I need, right? Uh Uh-oh, hit the mic. (laughs) Um, You know, or what I love about this next statement is... Um, well, you'll hear it. So it's each and every day in every way, I expand in clarity, focus, motivation, and or energy. And I love that statement because it comes from a presupposition, if I may quote um, Jason Lynette, who um, he actually trained me in hypnosis, which uh, he's great. So if you ever have a chance to check him out, I'm... Um, Check out his podcast, Work Smart Hypnosis, I believe it is. But, um, you know, there's a presupposition in there that you already have clarity, focus, energy, and motivation, right? It's just that each and every day, you expand in that. That's also from the book, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. So that's a wonderful book. Also, if you haven't had a chance to read that, that flips your whole mindset about what we are able to accomplish and what we can accomplish, So each and every day in every way I expand in abundance, or I'm sorry, that's actually the one I I normally use, but um, I expand in clarity, focus, motivation, and energy. And that can help you get back on track, repeating that to yourself at least 10 times. Because when you think about it, that voice in your head that's been happening for you right around this time has been a negative one and that you have heard multiple times per day. Do you ever stop it, right? No. So you just keep it playing in the background. So what I want you to do is get in the habit of saying these things to yourselves at least 10 times a day. Now, in terms of an affirmation, you can phrase that in the form of a question. In the form of that, this question that we will talk about today is, why is it so easy to achieve my goals? Right? 
Why is it so easy to have all the focus, clarity, energy, and motivation that I desire? So you want to phrase it in the form of a question of why is it so easy? Why is it so effortless? You know, why do these things come so naturally for me? Right. So by asking it in that way, we take off the pressure of I need or I should. How many people out there are should heads? I said should heads, y'all. Um, so if you're a should head, you're, you find yourself saying, I should be doing this. I should be going to the gym. You know, I should be getting up a little bit earlier and doing some meditation. I should be keeping on track with my diet or whatever it was. Um, but you're not. Or if you're, And if you're not, that's okay. So the point is, when we put all that pressure on us, it becomes heavy and overwhelming. So when we ask a question like, why is it so easy? You're already assuming it's easy. And so your mind tricks you into thinking it is easy, right? It's like a Jedi mind trick, <laughs> right? So why is it so easy? Ask yourself that. Moving on to the C. The C is for creativity. Now, one of the things that you can do, especially in this moment in time, is use your imagination to visualize yourself accomplishing, getting back on track, the goals that you had in mind at the beginning of the year. Now, maybe you imagine yourself, you know, standing in front of a mirror and having all this energy and looking light and brand new and energized and energetic and all those things. Or maybe it's just imagining yourself following through on a daily basis with all those tasks that you set out to do. But take a couple of minutes each day, the first thing in the morning, to imagine yourself, visualize yourself going through the motions. And just by virtue of doing that, you will maximize your impact of that day. Um, I know there's a lot of talk recently about those vision boards. A lot of people are doing those vision boards, y'all. Um, and that is just a way of getting your your goals from your mind onto paper so that you can look at them on a daily basis. And those are wonderful too. And that also is a way to express your creativity. So everything that that we see and we know in this world came from an imagination. It came from a thought. It came from an idea. So all those ideas you have, it's okay to follow through on them, especially if they seem like wild and outrageous. At some point, somebody thought a computer was wild and outrageous. At some point, somebody thought a drone was a crazy idea. And what do we have all around us? So follow through with your imagination, your creativity, and visualize those things. Uh, but also just get creative and cre make some art, you know, make some music or have music playing in the background when you want to um, accomplish certain tasks. So for me, what I do is I put on the um, iTunes playlist. It's called Focus. There's uh, Focus, there's the Pure Yoga, there's the Pure Ambient background. And when I put any of those on, or there's like a Brain.fm, that's another one, but you have to pay for it eventually. Um, but when I put those on in the background and just have that playing in my in my headphones, um, the ideas just start flowing, right? So do whatever you need to do, whatever is best for you. If you're a visual, auditory, or even kinesthetic, or you like to feel and do, um, but whatever is your best mode of learning, do that, use that to your advantage. So the T, the T is for talking, y'all. So talk to somebody, like talk to a professional, maybe it's a coach, maybe it's a business coach. It was this time exactly last year that I got my first coach. Um, and it was amazing. Like he was tremendous in my development, in my growth. Um, and, and it was just perfect timing. So do yourself a favor and get somebody in your life who's a professional, who's been trained to do whatever it is you desire to do, but you're having struggles with um, and, and, and get them on your team. So again, and that could also be a therapist. I actually was talking, the, the conversation I just had earlier was to a fellow mental health clinician and she had posted something on Facebook right after our conversation and one of the hashtags she used was therapists need therapy too. So even when you feel like you know all the answers, you